Hello and welcome to part three of this three-part series. This time we're going to be talking about Gohan, the son of Goku. Now, similarly to before, we're going to talk about the physical attributes of each uh, form, as well as the uh, first appearance of each form, and then finally the base multipliers for each form. And uh, I know a lot of people don't believe in that, but or consider it uh, accurate, but I feel the need to mention it because a lot of people uh, do consider it accurate, so just be aware of that. Alright, first we'll talk about base Gohan. Now, this is a bit difficult because his hairstyle changes throughout the series, and this is because he's half human, so much like humans, we change our hairstyle quite a bit. Uh, but in general, I noticed that Gohan has uh, hair similar to Goku's, like some of his hair spikes is spiky, but others parts of his hair isn't. Uh, but it's not exactly like Goku's. Uh, but you could tell he's Goku's son based on his hairstyle. Also, I noticed that through much of his childhood, there's like three, at least when he does have that hairstyle, there's about three hairs or so that hang down from his head, maybe four. It's, kind of, it's difficult to tell. I, I, I will give the I will give people that. Now when he's a teenager, you know, basically in the Boo Saga, his hair spikes up completely, which is interesting change from when he was a kid. And uh, he has two hairs that hang from the, down from his head, one thick one and one uh, thin one. <coughs> and uh, this interesting thing about uh, base Gohan is, of course, because he's half human, he uh, grows his hair throughout the series and it's different. So it's something I find very interesting about Gohan. Alright, next is uh, Ozuru, and this is characterized by uh, him becoming much larger in size. Uh, he also has, takes on an ape-dog appearance and has red eyes. The first time he used this form was against uh, Piccolo. And it's believed that Ozuru has a times 10 base multiplier. But still, like... That's one thing I find interesting about Ozuru is that it does actually look like a cross between an ape and a dog. And of course a humanoid because, you know, he walks on two feet. And uh, next we have Super Saiyan Gohan. Now uh, in terms of kid Super Saiyan Gohan or preteen, uh, this is characterized by, uh, you know, of course the gold blonde hair, the turquoise eyes, lighting up of the skin and uh, and clothes, and at least when he's a preteen, uh, his hair somewhat spikes up, but not completely. And uh, as for him as a teenager in the Boo Saga, his hair, since it's already spiked up, it's natural that it would spike up or stay spiked up. Uh, but as a Super Saiyan, he keeps his uh, two hairs that hang down from his head. It's one thing I find interesting about that. His first appearance of Super Saiyan was in the Hyperbolic Time Chamber, and uh, the base multiplier for his Super Saiyan is times 50. Or at least that's what's believed to be the universal number for characters. Next we have uh, perhaps what most people consider to be their favorite form of Super Saiyan, Gohan, Super Saiyan 2. And uh, like Super Saiyan, there's only two general forms of him, so you know, it makes uh, my job easier. Uh, as a kid, or preteen, it's characterized by, uh, by his hair becoming very spiky, uh, standing straight up pr pretty much, and uh, one uh, long hair that hangs down from his head, uh, and uh, covering part of his face. And uh, that's pretty much uh, that Gohan. And sometimes he also is seen with lightning, mostly during the uh, fight against Zelda. Now, uh, as a teenager in the Boo Saga, again, since his hair is already spiked up, he becomes a Super Saiyan 2. Uh, one thing I noticed is that his hair spikes up even more, particularly the back part of his hair. Like, look closely. And, uh,. Also, unlike Super Saiyan 1, he has one hair sticking out from his head. Now, one of the common misconceptions that a lot of people have is that 
just because he didn't have lightning in movie 10 that this wasn't Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Well, it actually was, because if you look at his hair, it's the exact same style as he had in the actual anime series. And plus, if nothing else, he had that one hair that hangs in front of his face, unlike Super Saiyan 1, which has two, so that alone is proof. He just didn't have the lightning. And his first appearance of Super Saiyan 2, of course, was against Cell. And uh, the multiplier for Super Saiyan 2 is times 100. But yeah, uh, going back to what I was saying before, the interesting thing I find about Super Saiyan 2 is that, perhaps even more so than Vegeta, they show Gohan as a Super Saiyan 2 with even less uh, lightning uh, than uh, before. I think they only show it like once or twice or so. Then finally we have um, Mystic Gohan, or Ultimate Gohan, or whatever you want to call it. Now this is characterized by, you know, solid black hair. Uh, and uh, one thing you'll notice is that he has one hair hanging down from his head. Sound familiar? Uh, and you'll notice that his hair is spikier actually than uh, in his base form. So these two things distinguish him from his base form that he had before. Uh, he got the Elder Kai uh, hidden potential unlocked, and uh, I'm not exactly. And uh, oh, uh, his first appearance of this form was, uh, of course, when he got it unlocked by Elder Kai, and you know he fought Super Blue. And it, we don't know what the base multiplier for uh, Mystic Gohan is, so I'm not even going to try to do that. Here. And one thing I find interesting about Mr. Gohan is he actually resembles Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, but in black. Anyway, uh, that's been my video series, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, like, let me know uh, how you felt about it, because uh, I really enjoyed making it, so uh, see you guys later. Like this video? If so, then click on the annotations on screen to go to some of my other videos. I mostly like to do topics on Dragon Ball, but I'm open to some other topics as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoy watching these videos as I enjoy making them. And I hope to see you soon with some more videos. Until then, see you later.